Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is my bar spinner collection. Well, the mo most of it. <laughs> I do have some uh, in storage or in the tent. Uh, kind of like uh, this one here. This is the Origin. Uh, this is the Titanium by Legacy. I do have it on every uh, metal that they made. It's just a really nice uh, spinner. And actually, titanium is my favorite one. It's just the right uh, weight for it. But I do have an other version, and if I put it all here, it's gonna be a little crazier. But uh, this is, uh, for the most part, uh, the different variations. Yeah. So uh, on the first two rows here, uh, we have the simple designs, or what I consider simple. Some might be a little bit more complex. Uh, well, not considering the machinery that went through making them. Yeah, probably some of them are going to be a little bit more crazier, even though they look simple. But the first two, I just kind of categorize them. Here we go. And towards the right there, get some heavy ones. Well, except for that knife spinner. That's the meteorite. And then moving up here, we got the more complex design. Well, except for this one, I'm just running out of space. But it's made of diamond steel, which is a really cool metal. Yep over there and I wish I got more light on that side there got some really nice ones up there all right and I took a picture of this I'm gonna share on my uh, the spinner group just want to share my awesome collection of bar spinners I personally can't pick my top 10 uh, there is so many good ones uh, really great uh, bar spinners and after a couple of the makers that I follow and buy the spinner uh, whichever they make next I, I buy it one of which i probably can uh, yeah probably uh say a few uh for one stealth spinners uh, is one of my favorite uh makers out there they make the spider right here really nice i think i think this is uh my favorite bar spinner that uh, max uh, made yep uh, max from stealth so this is really nice. Then you have this one here, which is the B2, one of the earlier design. Now this one in particular is, uh, I think, electroplated uh, stainless steel. It's black, but I took off the plating, and I like the uh, look of this a, a lot more. He recently made the tri spinner uh, in stainless steel, and I'm uh, hoping that they, he makes a stainless uh, steel version of that. I think that looks great. Um, we also have the ultra spinners. The makers of uh, here, I think they say they call it the Prime Forge, and you get the tile tail right there. Those are great uh, spinners as well as this one here too, the Ergo. They made this really nice. I have another version of this which is uh, laser etched and flamed differently, but um, I really like the Wingman. It's like one of their special versions right there. Otherwise, another company that I really enjoy is geometrics and uh, or actually GLM tech <laughs> but uh, John from GLM tech uh, create this awesome uh, bar spinner the geometrics and this is really nice I, I really like uh, this design spins really well got nice uh, cuts here very intricate and uh, I think it's well worth it now I have a different variation of this I have even have a 688 uh, stone wash version of that uh, which is uh, really cool and I also have the zero metrics the dual bar spinner really nice so that's one of those that uh, I I really enjoyed uh, what else we got here so many oh the Bosnikov uh, B I was a bit late uh, to the collecting uh, his spinner but definitely uh, any of his new spinner now I I tuned into his uh, Instagram um, in hopes to uh, getting it in his waitlist. Yeah, this is definitely one of the awesome spinners. So that's another thing that I tuned in and definitely tried to get. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, there we go. Full Throttle uh, Originals, FTO. So uh, he makes this, uh, this is the mini asylum. This is the regular asylum right here. This is in titanium. This is stainless steel and with the aluminum caps. Now, this is quite amazing. I really like it. It's just a simple design, but it works quite well. I really like the machine finish as well. There. And I put some aluminum uh, rods there for the thread slot. 
Yeah, really nice. Otherwise, what else we got here? There's just so many. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and a couple more that uh, are my favorites. Um, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, like the, the classic, you know, you gotta have a stubby in your bar collection. What else should be in your bar collection? You gotta have a stubby. A torque bar. There we go. Really nice. Yeah, definitely, torque bar is probably one that should be in your collection. Another thing, um, the high fidget. I have the bar spinner. It has uh, some wobble. But I recently got this uh, flamed one uh, by uh, Casey, hopefully. It's okay for me uh, to say his name. Uh, Casey flamed the bo uh, the body here. Now I replaced this with this uh, Neospin GX button here, which I flamed myself. And I think that is a really nice uh, combo right there. Really cool. Alright, I had to cut the video there. I got that. I interrupted. <laughs> Alright, so moving on. Yeah, really nice. Uh, this is the iFidget uh, stainless steel. Great uh, spinner right there. Uh, otherwise, the Legacy, yeah. It's another uh, very interesting uh, design and I cannot wait for their V2. That's probably... We'll see if that's going to be my preferred uh, version comparing to the 1.5 right here. Uh, 1.5, uh, they had the revision with the buttons. Which was great. Uh, I, I like the legacy buttons. They're really comfortable. What else should be in your collection? Um, the hummingbird. Yeah, this is another design. At first, I wasn't too keen of it. It's a little too simple, but uh, as I've had it in my you know everyday carry, um, it's, got, it's, it's kind of part of my uh, favorite now on my favorite list. So the hummingbird, really nice. They just recently had the tribird version. Uh, what else we got here? Just uh, so many. <laughs> Alright, moving up to the... So I already mentioned about that one. The geometrics that... And... Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the ones that should definitely be in your collection. I could be missing a few. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. That's what I'm missing. Axiom. This is one of those really cool bar spinner. As the axe yeah definitely that needs to be in your collection um, any of the axiom uh, spinner even the tri axe they're really great I really like them and uh, they actually to our designs uh, is doing a collaboration and uh, I cannot wait for some of those um, so yeah quite nice Otherwise, so uh, there are a couple here that are quite expensive um, that um, I'm quite uh, glad that I was able to get. Um, to pick a few that are expensive, uh, let's see here. The, the ones on top, the Tattletail, they're about, and the Prime Forge, I believe, they're about 150 Even the Rota Blade the Pendulum here, it's, it's quite expensive, especially if you're getting it with the Trit Slots. On both sides, actually, I got it the green and blue. It made of titanium really great spinner i like the design of it quite classy but yeah a bit expensive so that's one of those expensive the sentinel was expensive too and uh i wasn't really a fan of it um, after uh, fiddling with it it's just not the the ones that uh, i would recommend on the other hand get the spider i think that's a better stealth spinner another Expensive one is probably the Cicada right here. It's just a unique looking spinner. Looks like the you know the Cicada the bug. I changed out the uh, buttons on this one, which kind of gives me a me a better grip. It's from the Peggy. Yeah, it, it does uh, judder quite a bit from the bearing and uh, asymmetric. Uh, well, it's actually symmetrical in design, but. Yeah. Maybe from here, this it's a little different, but ends. Yeah, uh, another expensive one. And uh, surprisingly, you would think that the Poznikov B is expensive. His spinners are actually relatively cheap compared to the other spinners uh, in the market. Uh, his is about like a hundred uh, something. And uh, 
for the intricacy of making this <laughs> I think that's well worth it um, you know, paying close to a hundred bucks uh, when you get it uh, from him yeah the aftermarket though is ridiculous since uh, some of them are limited stock or he only made a limited run so that's one of the expensive ones um, also TVJs if I think I want this was a uh, on a raffle I mean on a raffle it's uh cheap since you're buying it's uh and you go by chance but uh this is probably about a hundred uh, hundred plus and uh, it's one of those that are quite cool he acid etch uh, the stormtrooper paisley design on it which is really cool it's one of a kind another expensive one is the pepiaka now uh, this is one of those interesting spitters. It has a lot of parts on it, uh, titanium. Um, even the screws here are made of uh, titanium. I think those are electroplated blue. Then you got your caps here. Then some coated that might be titanium as well. Then you got your brass plates here. Just a really interesting design. And not to mention they have three slots on both ends here or both sides. So uh, quite interesting. Another expensive spinner. Um, otherwise, uh, down here, I think the expensive one I got, there, the simple design, is this one. This is a Great Ravens Binary Fusion. This is the tungsten copper. I think it's 75% tungsten or is it 70? Then you got the other percent uh, copper. So, yeah, it's, it's quite heavy for the size, which gives it a really nice feel. And really... Yeah, it's one of a kind uh, spinner that uh, I've really enjoyed it in part. This is expensive. Uh, it's about two hundred dollars in range. Uh, what else is this? This one actually is kind of expensive. <laughs> it's like a hundred something plus. This is the Fishbone by Mini Pack. It is a giant hefty spinner. Now, uh, when I got it, the finish wasn't that great. Uh, there's you know, a lot of scratches. It is polished, but it wasn't that good now what I did is I put in my tumbler or actually my friend's tumbler uh, and uh, got it and that stone wash uh, look to it so it's kind of like uh, you got those uh, scratches or skid marks but I like it and uh, it kind of gives it a, a grip also and it's not a fingerprint mark, uh, magnet especially the buttons here uh, after putting in the tumbler helps a lot so that's that otherwise uh, the stubby is expensive um, for some uh, especially if you're looking at was it like 90 pounds just for a stubby and that's pounds and uh, you're gonna be looking at around 125 just to get one of these so um, it's, it's a little it's a bit expensive if you look at it for getting this but um, how smooth it is and uh, he got a lot of testimonies on how good a stub is. Definitely, it's well worth it. Now you have the bite in here, which is relatively cheap. I um, think this was like 50 bucks. But uh, it is different. It's a little bit more beefier. Has a different uh, side profile. I mean, it's close to it, but yeah, the stub is still a little different. Another expensive one is the torque bar. Now, I got this through a pretty good deal, but this is probably range about 150. Um, and uh, this is a custom buttons here, which is really cool. Got, got that spiral thing going on. Uh, let's see what else. The portal. Well, right now, the portal, I think it's about 100 something dollars for a portal. But now it's going for more because it's not in stock and it's gonna be made into production again after the char portal which I'm still waiting for mine I got the stainless steel but yeah <clears throat> quite nice a little expensive <laughs> what else tracks tracks is uh, another expensive spinner but I actually got this through a deal so that no that too bad but I think that's pretty much it for the expensive ones. Now the cheap ones, actually I don't have it here. Wait, hold on. That's another bar spit I forgot to put here. <laughs> uh here. 
This is, uh, I forgot what this is called. Uh, some, there's some numbers on the company name, but, uh, it's one of those really cheap, this is like about $20 for this, uh, very interesting bar spitter. And it spins well. You get some copper buttons. I did paint, uh, gunmetal on those. I was trying to go for a Fox uh, semiconductor button, and it didn't really work out, but... <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to put in this here. I know I'm forgetting something. <clears throat> That's cheap. Um, another cheap uh, bar spinners that I've enjoyed is this. This is the Chunk by Stealth. Small. Works well. I like it. That's a good one. Let's see what... Um, I fidget. I think a uh, normal stainless steel version is about $60. So, relatively uh, good price for that. And then uh, you have the Reaper machining, the Doomsday spinner, which is uh, quite affordable too. Yeah, this is a nice spinner right here. I did uh, stone wash or tumbled the body as well, which yeah, I like it. <laughs> Actually, there was a hot spots on top here. The tumbling process kind of removes that, so there's that. So that's uh, relatively cheap. Um, to, what else we got here? Relatively cheap though. Well, this is kind of somewhere in the the pop top. Somewhere, let's say like seventy or eighty bucks. But uh, they're great. I like them. But uh, they're they're just the actually the one thing I like about this is the beat uh, blast finish. That is really great for this one. Okay, let's see what else is affordable and cheap. <laughs> <clears throat> The hummingbird was a little expensive for me. Um, it's about 80. The asylums are great. I did mention that before. It's one of those I. It's one of my go-to. Uh, it's been. I think it's about 50 dollars for stainless steel. The titanium is probably about 70. I think it was an increment of uh, 10 dollars for every material you go to. But uh, yeah, I think that's still uh, relatively cheap. And there was a recent uh, tungsten drop. No, that is not it. Uh, cheap that was expensive <laughs> otherwise the geometrics is actually still relatively cheap um, and I think they're currently sold in Spinatics website they're about uh, 50 60 dollars and I still say that the stainless steel version is good now titanium was a limited run but um, stain the stainless steel version is great and I think that's a relatively cheap if you're curious about this mini tank here uh, Stealth is still selling them. They're about thirty dollars. It's made of aluminum, so there's there's that. And uh, anything else cheap on this side? Well, actually, these two are not bad. I forgot the pricing on those. I think it was like about sixty dollars. You're getting something that is uh, nicely cut, laser cut, I believe. And then you get laser etched there. Really nice spinner. I did uh, swap out the bearing on this one with a uh, one drop because uh, this spinner has a tendency to resonate a lot uh, the bearing or the sound so definitely putting a, a very smooth and quiet bearing helps a lot so there we go anything else oh, actually let me talk about this this is the arm shark and uh, this is my first titanium spinner and I I really loved it now this one has a problem with the bearing retention um, you need to put kind of like a small thread or in a small wire or a loop or a washer very thin to kind of help uh, push the bearing tight or hold in place that was the only problem with this but otherwise it's really great the lightweight I really like it all right I got interrupted again it's morning here <laughs> All right, so next one that uh, it's really cheap and uh, I like uh, it's from Zeal Spin. Uh, Ray Zhang from Zeal Spin is creating awesome spinners. Uh, we have the Dorado here. This is gold plated. It has the fish motif on it. Kind of look like a fish. And uh, yeah, it's forty bucks for a gold plated spinner. That is great. He also made this recently, the Claymore. Which is a, it's a simple uh, 
design, but it has a two-tone finish. You got the, I guess this is bead blasted. And you got the polish on the sides here. So yeah, really unique uh, design. And he uses uh, peculiar <laughs> bearings, or not the norm. Uh, normally you'll see on R188. But he used uh, 688 bearings, which I'm actually starting to like. It has a different feel to it, has a bit more feedback. And um, it's nice. I like it. So 688 bearings. And uh, typically in my collection, uh, it's mostly R188 or 688. Yeah. With a few exceptions, some of them are 606. So many bearing sizes. Alright. And... Twin Star here is about uh, like around 80, I think. So it's a little expensive. Uh, it's one of those that it looks cool. But as a bar spinner, it's kind of hard to fiddle with. Yep, and those are gold plated as well. Even the caps here. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's uh, pretty much it. Um, otherwise, uh, the next part is which ones are really cool looking uh, for me. Um, I have to say uh, the Tattletail is one of those uh, high-end spinners that I bought for that reason. Really cool. That's probably one of the expensive ones that I'm going for. Um, next one is the Pepiaka 2.0. It's definitely one of the cool looking uh, designs that uh, I went for. Uh, let's see. The B, obviously. <laughs> as I keep mentioning. Uh, the Millennium Spinner. It's another cool one. Uh, this is again by ZL Spin. It's designed after the Millennium Falcon. And I really like the different uh, finish. I think that's all what the ZL Spin uh, kind of stands out for. Different. You got the polish. You get the bead blast there. Nice. Uh, Stelts. I always like their design. It's always something different. Really cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, I could just go on. A lot of them have really cool designs. But yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for this video. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to ramble. I do apologize for that, but I really enjoy spinners, um, collecting it, uh, the hobby, especially the community. It's very supportive, and um, I know a lot of people think that spinners are silly. You know, they're for kids, and not to mention you know, people associate them with uh, kids with uh, disability, and uh, you know, it's sad to think that people have to associate you know a really awesome uh, I guess uh, invention <laughs> or design and have a negative connotation to it it's it's such a shame the spinner is really enjoyable for me and I've shared it to a couple of my friends uh, they find it fascinating although they are kind of disturbed by the price <laughs> or how expensive they are but for me, when I look at how hard it is to make one, uh, just imagining that you need to have an expensive uh, machine to make those cuts, um, or yeah, those are expensive machine uh, making this, and that is not something that you can get cheap, especially the ones you buy here in the U.S. Made in U.S., you know, definitely they're going to be ex more expensive than the ones made in China or the mass-produced ones. Yeah. But anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I might make more. Um, maybe I'll do the tri spinners next, and then uh, you got the odd shaped looking ones. But yeah, that's my collection so far. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.